let's study the hip bone actually uh, the hip bone is a in nominate bone it's not a given but it is situated onto the hip region and it is a combination of the three bones yes how to determine the side of the hip bone yes so this portion that is a notch as a greater sciatic notch now insert your this index finger and the thumb portion that's how so that this finger covers this uh, acetabulum so if i insert on this like this this becomes right side of the hip bone and onto this it becomes the left side of the hip bone right so this is the right side of hip bone and it is the left side of the hip bone yes now let's discuss parts of the hip bone there are three bones superiorly this portion is known as the ilium inferiorly we have two bones anteriorly that is known as the pubis and posteriorly is it known as the ischium so ilium superiorly pubis antero inferiorly and ischium that is so that should be posterior inferiorly okay fine so that's how it is positioned uh, into our body yes now remember four spines onto the ilium what are those spines there are two spines here and two spines here these two spines are superior these two spines are inferior these two spines are anterior and these two spines are posterior so name those spines this becomes anterior superior iliac spine because it is onto the ilium this becomes a anterior inferior iliac spine now on to this side this become posterior superior iliac spine and this become posterior inferior iliac spine there are four spines on to the ilium there is one spine on to the ischium and that spine is here and that is on to the ischium that side is known as the ischial spine and that ischial spines uh, uh, gives to uh, or we can say it forms a two notch one notch which is the larger notch another notch which is the smaller notch that larger notch is known as the greater sciatic notch this lesser that is known as the lesser sciatic notch now remember two most important things this foramen that is known as the obturator foramen and this portion cup shaped portion that is known as the acetabulum now on to the superior parts this portion is known as the iliac crest it is the iliac crest it is having a two segment one that is known as the ventral segment another that is known as the dorsal segment posterior there is a rough part which articulates with the sacrum yes here there will be the sacrum as you can also look at that portion yes sacrum the yes. sacrum is articulating here on to the posterior part yes that's how it is a position okay now uh, this portion is known as the pubis and this this portion is the body of the pubis on to the body we can say one that is the anterior surface and another that is known as the posterior posterior surface is also known as the pelvic surface why it is known as the pelvic surface because here there is a formation of the pelvis and this portion is known as the cubical symphysis cubic symphysis now on to the superior portion here that portion is known as the cubic crest and here that is known as the cubic tubercle so remember pubic symphysis pubic crest pubic tubercle now two ramus this is known as the superior pubic ramus and this is known as the inferior pubic ramus let's revise the pubis first this is the body of the pubis here there is a symphysis pubis superiorly there is a pubic crest here there is a pubic tubercle this portion is the superior pubic ramus inferiorly that is known as the inferior pubic ramus now let's discuss the ischium ischium portion we must discuss one thing that is known as the ischial tuberosity and there is a ischial ramus and ischial spine fine these all the three bones are coming and articulating onto the acetabulum from here there is a ischium from here there is a pubis and from the superior there is a ilium now discuss on to the ilium portion yes we have discussed the four spines of the ilium and we have also discussed the iliac crest 
remember iliac crest having uh, two lips one that is uh, if you put into the anatomical position one that is the outer lip and another that is known as the inner lip then on to the ilium we have on to the pelvic side there is a one fossa and that is known as the iliac fossa and on to the lateral side or lateral to posterior side that surface from where gluteus muscles are <coughs> originating that is known as the gluteal surface so iliac fossa gluteal surface iliac crest inner lip outer lip inter between portion anterior superior iliac spine anterior inferior iliac spine posterior superior iliac spine posterior inferior iliac spine greater sciatic notch lesser sciatic notch ischial spine obturator foramen acetabulum body of the pubis anterior surface pelvic surface pubic crest pubic tubercle superior pubic ramus inferior pubic ramus ischium ischial ramus ischio pubic ramus anastomosing and here that is ischia tuberosa attachment on to the hip bone remember the muscles into the groups first remember most important muscles and one ligament that is on to the anterior superior iliac spine which muscle that is the sartorius muscle and ligament that is the inguinal ligament yes which is attaching between the these two things pubic tubercle and the anterior superior iliac spine which ligament inguinal and which muscles from here sartorius now remember another muscles from the anterior inferior iliac spine rectus femoris which muscle the rectus femoris so from here sartorius and from here rectus femoris remember now on to the iliac crest remember three muscles from outer to inner external oblique then internal oblique and transverse abdominis yes there are the three muscles of the abdominal wall which are attaching on to the hip bone from out to inside or you can say from lateral to medial or from outer to inner side or those muscle external oblique in between that is the intermediate area that is the internal oblique and from on to the inner side that is the transverse abdominis on to the posterior dorsal segment yes there is a one muscle you should remember and that is the latissimus dorsi it's another one muscle is there but you remember the latissimus dorsi now on to the iliac fossa there is one muscle and that is known as the iliacus which muscle iliacus and on to the gluteal surface we have three muscles from 1 to 3 gluteus minimus gluteus medius and gluteus maximus gluteus minimus medius and the maximus so here there are some lines are there yeah here there is the anterior gluteal line one of the that is the inferior gluteal line when there is a posterior gluteal line posterior to posterior gluteal line gluteal maximus in between those two lines gluteus minimus when the medium that is known as the gluteus medius just remember minia gluteus minimus medius and maximus let's revise our attachment super fast sartorius and inguinal ligament rectus femoris iliacus external oblique internal oblique transverse abdominis latissimus dorsi gluteus minimus medius and maximus now let's discuss the muscles on to the pubis portion remember one important or no three three muscles remember the muscles into the groups from here to here 1 2 3 adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus remember this portion angle here that is angle that is the superior pubic ramus inferior pubic ramus body portion here there is adductor longus in the lower part there will be the adductor brevis and then there will be the adductor magnus longus l b m and in with the b there is we have a g that is the gracilis l b m with the b we have g that is the gracilis then remember muscles attachment onto the ischial tuberosity yes this acetabular portion that is the lateral portion inside there is a medial portion so inferior medially and superior lateral 
remember im stbf on to the inferomedial part we have two main muscle semi tendinosus and biceps femoris stbf and on the superolateral we have one muscle and that is known as the semi membranosus and lower side we have adductor magnus so four muscles biceps femoris with semi tendinosus semi membranosus and adductor magnus yes these are the four muscles which are known as the hamstring muscles okay fine then on to the ischial spine superior side there is a superior gemellus inferior side there is a inferior gemellus and from the obturator membrane on to the inner side one muscle is going and covering that is the obturator internus so here there is a from the inner side obturator internus external side there is a obturator externus so obturator internus obturator externus internus having two friends there are superior gemellus and the inferior gemellus clear and on to the outer side there is a obturator externus remember another muscle these are superior pubic ramus on to the superior part we have there is a one muscle that is known as the pectineus that's not the amount of muscles are enough for the hip bone let's revise fast on to the pubis l b m adductor longus adductor brevis and adductor magnus and with the b there is a gracilis on the ischial tuberosity inferomedial adductor uh, we have biceps femoris with the semi tendinosus im stbf semi membranosus and adductor magnus then remember under the obturator foramen inner side obturator internus it is along with the superior and inferior gemellus outer side obturator externus on to the pubis superior side pectineus pectineal surface also known as on to the ilium there is a iliacus here sartorius with inguinal ligament here that is the rectus femoris iliac crest outer side there is a external oblique internal oblique and transverse abdominis and latissimus dorsi Gluteal surface, gluteus minimus, medius maximus. Thank you.